Today I'm reading the story of Heidi, a retelling of a little orphan girl who was sent to live with her father, her grandfather. The story of Heidi. The wind whistled and sang. It blew in great gusts at Heidi and her aunt as they battled their way up the mountain. Up and up they went to a world above the clouds. At last they came to a small hut perched on the top of the mountain. A fierce old man opened the door. Meet your granddaughter, said Heidi's aunt. I've brought her to live with you. But I don't want her. I've looked after Heidi since her parents died. Now it's your turn, her aunt declared. And with that, she ran back down the mountain. So you can see here it says, but I don't want her. Poor Heidi. Well, you'd better come in, said grandfather gruffly. You'll have to find your own place to sleep, though. Hmm. What's up the ladder? asked Heidi. Grandfather didn't reply. Heidi climbed into a hayloft. There she made a sweet smelling bed of hay. Next morning, Heidi woke to the sound of bells. Ding dong, ding dong. Sunlight poured in through the window. Look, there's grandfather. See? She ran outside onto the dewy wet grass where a boy was whistling. This is Peter, the goat boy, said grandfather. That's the goat boy, Peter. Do you want to come up the mountain with me? Peter asked. I'm taking the goats to find fresh grass. Heidi went out with Peter and the goats every day. In the evening, Grandfather fed her creamy goat's milk, crusty bread, and melted cheese. Mm. Read me a story, pleaded Heidi. So every night, Grandfather read her a story by the fire. So do you think Grandpa's liking her a bit better now? Yeah. She looks happy in this picture. Yeah. Heidi had never been happier until one morning her aunt came back i found a job for heidi she announced i'm taking her to town <gasps> poor grandfather cried heidi he'll be all alone he likes it that way said aunt he doesn't thought heidi one day i'll come back to him look at the aunt's face She's looking nice or not? Mm. No. Nasty. Poor Heidi. Heidi's aunt took her to a grand house. There she had to look after a sick little girl called Clara. Here she is. I'm so weak. I can hardly walk, said Clara. You'd soon get well in the mountains, Heidi replied. The town was full of jostling people. Stale smells filled the street. Heidi longed for her hayloft, for the jingling bells of the goats, for stories by the fire. They don't even allow dogs. No dogs. Mm. Not like the mountains. At night, Heidi sleepwalked. She wandered the house in her white nightgown girl needs to go home, Clara's father decided. A week later, Grandfather saw a strange procession coming up the mountain. Oh, Heidi, you've come back to me! Oh. Clara wanted to come too, Heidi explained. Can she stay until she's well again? Of course, said Grandfather. We'll help her get better. What do you think? Do you think Clara will get better at the mountains? Mm. I would. Clara drank fresh goat's milk every morning and sat outside in the sunshine. And every day she walked a little more. 
Remember she said she couldn't walk? She was so weak. Look at her walking. I can't believe it, said Grand Clara's father when he came for her. Is this really my darling daughter? How can I ever thank you? Clara, walking? When Clara and her father had gone, Heidi and grandfather went outside to watch the sunset. You're home now, said grandfather. I'll never let you go again. And there she is, home of the mountains. I hope you enjoyed that story.